This eager control point makes building management easy and efficient. In this video, I would like to focus in particular on how easy a Desigo control point device can be commissioned. For engineering and commissioning of Desigo control point, there are two ways. The first one is offline via the tool ABT site, and the second one is online and completely toolless. If you have a Desigo control point touch panel, such as this PXM50 here, you can perform the complete commissioning on the touch panel itself. When you power up such a device for the first time, you will be asked to perform an initial login and you have to change the default password to your own one. After that, you can make all the device local settings, such as, for example, the IP address. So for the IP address, for example, you need to navigate to device, from there to infrastructure, to favorite commissioning, and there you see the network port for IP, where you can shorten the list of settings via this filter button in the top right corner. And there is your IP address right there for you to edit. Similarly, you can, for example, change the language of the device. For this, you navigate back to favorite commissioning and you see your PXM50 device object right there, where you can drill down and you see all those local settings, such as, for example, the language or also the time zone right there. Once all the local settings have been made, you can define those devices in the automation network which should be operated by the Seagull control point. In order to do so, navigate back to favorite commissioning. There you go to discovered devices. You hit the small pencil icon in the top right corner. You hit discover and OK. And then the list should populate with the devices which are found in the network. And from those devices, you pick the ones that you want to operate by checking the box. Once you've done that, hit copy, navigate via the breadcrumb to assigned devices, where you hit paste and unactivate the edit pencil. One of the key features of the Zego control point is the fact that you can fully and generically operate all the assigned devices. In order to do so, Simply drill down into one of the devices in the list, for example, this PX controller here. And as you can see, you can access the full data structure of this device. I'm navigating here to one of the air handling units. And I can, for example, access the extract air fan here, and I can monitor its value, and I could parameterize it, as required for my specific engineering or commissioning task. For users which are mainly focused on operating plans, such as facility managers, the Zigo control point features graphical plant views, trend charts, reports, etc. However, the number of data points which are available for such graphical views is limited in the Zigo control point, and therefore one has to make a selection as to which points are actually available for this visualization. In order to do so, navigate to the operation task and once there hit tools and learn devices here you will find a dialog where you can make your point selection you again will recognize your assigned devices and for each one of those devices you can choose from seven standard integration levels such as for example standard operation which gives you a predefined selection of points. Should this predefined selection not satisfy the needs of your particular project, you can always navigate via advanced to a detailed points list. There, you can select points simply by checking the boxes next to them. And once you're done with that, you can confirm your selection by hitting apply which brings you back to the main integration screen. Once you're done with your selection altogether, simply select all the devices from which you want to integrate points from and hit the button Start Sync. Once the synchronization has completed, we can leave this integration dialog by hitting Close, which brings us back to the main Desigo control point operation screen. On there, we see that the data that we've just imported has already populated our views. I can now, for example, navigate down into the building 20 
and go to inspect one of the ventilation and air conditioning plants. And at this point, naturally, I would like to visualize the data that we have imported. For the SIGO standard applications, the SIGO control point even comes with a set of prefabricated super sample graphics, which just seamlessly fits on that data. In order to activate one of those, I hit Tools, Assign Active Graphics, and then I just pick the appropriate graphic from the list and hit Apply, OK, and Cancel. And I see that one of the graphics is activated. I can now open that graphic by simply clicking on it. And we see that the graphic has opened. And not only has it opened, it's already connected its elements to the data that we have in the system. So for example, we see that the fan is labeled on and it's turning. We see that the pump is on. We have all our set points. So we are ready for really graphically operating our plant. So setting up your Desigo control point in just a few minutes, that's what I call real engineering efficiency. Siemens, ingenuity for life.